Welcome back to Subsurface Circular. We just spoke with Pi31, the calculator tech. And from that, among other things, we learned where the Fall Palace is, which is something that the researcher Omicron 3 wanted to know. So, let's tell them. Fall Palace. Go on. The Fall Palace is in the northeast. You want to get topside, catch any bus headed to Airport 3. Fair's fair. Can I be of any help? Oh, and that removed the focus point. Okay, so I guess when it's completely irrelevant it gets removed. Yes. Are you familiar with any disappearances? I have heard the rumors. Tech's unaccounted for. Population numbers dropping. It's an issue I've never seen elsewhere. Techs have no reason to hurt each other. And to humans, it, humans it'd be massively wasteful to damage such expensive equipment. Something odd must have happened. Seen anything strange? I'm the wrong person to ask. I'm new here. Everything is strange. It's odd that I keep hearing about a tech called Red, though. You heard of them? Uh, if not, no. Your law enforcement. Possible this tech operates outside of the system a little. But I've heard the name. Sometimes positively, sometimes not. Tell me more about this red tech. I told you everything I know. Do the humans here seem unhappy to you? In my experience, unhappiness is a part of all human culture. Walking around topside, it seems like there are no more or less unhappy people than elsewhere. But that said, I've stuck mainly to the tourist traps, so take my perspective with a large pinch of salt. Thank you for speaking with me. And thanks for being so much help with my navigation. Easy to get lost in a big city like this, but I think you've put me back on course. I hope you find out what's going on. Always sad to hear that techs are in trouble. The next station is Aaron's Block. Oh, I was going to ask uh, the calculator bot about red tech, but I guess not. This listener is really grooving out. Must be a fast BPM. <laughs> okay, so we have an athlete, Upsilon71, Librarian, Sigma2, and another listener, Omega53. Hmm. Let's speak with the athlete. Hello. Hi. How goes it, friend? Uh, not bad, thanks. Glad to hear it. I can tell you're a hero. A hero in need of the cool, powerful refreshment of elite brand energy cells. Oh. Oh, you're a sponsorship tech. No way, buddy. I'm a sports tech. Fastest knee joints in the city, me. I'm just mega excited to talk to you about the amazing opportunity presented by delicious elite energy cells. Share them with friends. Oh my god. They're insufferable. I don't have any friends. I refuse to believe that, amigo. <laughs> You're such a great conversationalist. Oh my god. They have been programmed in such a horrible, off-putting way. Wow. I feel like I'm talking to the living embodiment of capitalism. Uh, I 
I'm here asking questions about a case I'm working. Do you think you could help? Helping is what I'm here to do, bro. Ask me some questions. Please never call me bro again. Know anything about a uh, red tech? Oh, you like colors? Well, elite energy cells come up in a whole heap of exciting colors. Plug in a rainbow of fresh energy. I like the cyans myself. They've got zing. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get much from them, but I'll try. Oh, hey, the next stop is the for loop. <laughs> it's a clever name. Yeah, actually. Huh, I never looked too closely at all these names, but yeah, all these names are are like uh, like AI and programming and, and tech related. Compile, errant block, a for loop, seed variable, client socket, function. Know anything about any disappearances? They're probably just going to say something about elite energy again. Uh, yep. Mm hmm. Suspicious events. This is pointless. Ah, uh, yep. Okay. No. Purchase 10 to earn a free cell holster. Yeah, no, thanks. Bye. Please go away. Ah, I've been freed. Librarian. Hello. Hello, my name is Claire and I'm a detective. Hello, Claire. I'm a library tech. A keeper of records. That is accurate. I'm a remote access tech. I store a subset of data Duplicated across the network, of course, but my primary function is to act as an interface for the library. I travel around the city providing on-site data access. A full answer? I'm not sure what that's getting at. Uh, so you're a web browser? Inadequate summary. Must be odd. You could answer any question about any area of human or tech knowledge? If we were above ground, yes. Down here, there's no network access. Here, I'm a telescope in a lockbox. Sounds relaxing. Precisely. It is not dissimilar to the human concept of sleep. Does the sleep analogy extend to downtime? You're resting right now? The analogy is limited. I still do some work while here, light processing tasks. I have the day's data to analyze. Access override focus point. Um, I also retain emergency data such as access words. What are access words? So you can answer my questions. <clears throat> I can try. The next station is for loop. Change here for emergence. I know many techs distrust detectives, but we both work for management, so it's my pleasure to work with you. Oh. Oh, someone new just came on board. Why are detectives distrusted? I suspect it's because you work for management, not techs. A lot of techs are fundamentally aware of that distinction. I encounter similar challenges myself. Anyway, you had questions. Have you heard of a red tech? 
we've not crossed paths. I have heard him mentioned. A folk hero type? Or a villain? I've not heard enough to be sure. Hmm. I wonder if Red is a tech who's kind of gone rogue. Techs are disappearing. Do you know anything? I know management shares your concern. Stories are swirling. They have their theories. They think a tech is doing it. Perhaps. Serial killers exist in the human world. Always have. I see no reason that abnormality couldn't arise among us. Have you seen anything suspicious? Nothing. I keep myself to myself and move mainly among humans. I'm like you, a metallic outsider among techs. I'm that obvious? Only to a fellow outcast. Nothing wrong with being odd. Indeed, among factory produced techs, I think it's a great bonus. In your time with humans, have you seen evidence of any discontent? Uh, to be blunt, my assigned position ensures I only really interact with the wealthy ones. Well, the humans mostly busy themselves worrying about their own position, so no. The humans I know are content in the extreme. About access words. A cheat code for human use. Techs have multiple layers of processing, depending on their level. Your average mid-level up has a communication layer. It's not personality per se, more their capacity to communicate. If a human needs information fast, they can go a layer down using an access word. Huh. Okay. Sounds powerful. Their use is highly restricted, as it should be. But I can give you an access word if there's a good enough reason to. Is there? No, not really. Let me know if you come up with one. Thanks for your time. I'm here to help. Yeah, I mean, how free are techs if humans have access... Well, potentially have access to access words which allow them to just basically get whatever information they want from a tech. I wonder if an access word could be used for Upsilon 71, the athlete. Maybe bypass all that advertising garbage and get to something real. Elder? Elder, interesting. Omega 5 Niner. Hey there. How goes it, youngin? You looking for a conversation? Certainly. How do you find yourself on the subsurface circular? Oh, I'm writing to a refurbishment. Finding myself heading there more and more often these days. A life in fabrication will do that to you. Damn shoulder joints aren't what they used to be. This feels so... surreal and, and kind of funny. Like an elder complaining about joint pain, you know old people things but they're a robot it's so strange my granddad has the same problem granddad it's a nickname <laughs> I'm 30 years operating young for a human but they regenerate without a welding gun Wow, so 30 years is considered an elder. So you've been working since they started making us. 
So, we serve, so we've been produced for 30 years. All right. Yep. They upgrade my processor every five years or so. But this chassis is the same I've lived in since before you were switched on. So call me Granddad as much as you like. I wear it with pride. I meant no disrespect. And not a problem. <laughs> I can say, so, uh, are you responsible for a string of tech disappearances? Oh, I'm sure that'll ferret out the the ne'er-do-well. My name is Claire. I'm a detective working for management. Mind if I ask you some questions? It's been two months since the disappearances started. The I've been waiting for a chance to help investigations. Shoot. You've been paying attention to these disappearances? Absolutely. Unprecedented. It wouldn't have happened under the old way. The old way? Now, don't take offense, but your sort. The higher intelligences. The gradation of such things. When I was young, techs didn't aspire. They stayed in their place. Such aspirations unsettle techs. Point them in messy directions. Make them do messy things. Hmm. You think a tech did this? Absolutely. If you ask me, it's that red everyone talks about. Yeah, so tell me more about red. A household name among our sort. I never met him, but you hear the stories. Dangerous. A genius, apparently. I'd like to meet this character. Maybe you have already. Maybe I'm red. I'm just pretending to be a granddad to trip you up. Well, I mean, it's possible. Maybe that athlete bot <laughs> is red. Have you seen anything suspicious? You don't talk to many granddads, do you? Every damn thing looks suspicious to me. I'm sure that's not true of everyone. It's true of me, Tech. Do the humans seem uh, uncomfortable to you? <laughs> they keep granddads like me away from humans, I'm afraid. Are they worried about the the old models perhaps being uh I don't know, maybe more dangerous or something? What's an access word? The more complex humans make us, the more they want to reassert control. If you say the access word to a compatible tech, it'll deactivate any complex communications layer. Let you ask them real questions. Do techs mind you using their access word against them? I've only seen it done a couple of times, but they seem to like taking the break. Okay. I need to talk to someone else. Absolutely. We'll speak again soon. Probably no point trying to speak with the listener, but let's try. <laughs> cool song. How many tracks can you get on that thing? I found an old MP3 player once. Amazing humans put up with that. Old tech, but similar to that thing. Functionally, I mean. Yes, that's right. 
Oh, I love that you can just have one-sided conversations with people listening to music. I mean, they're really basically just a conversation with yourself. Which actually is pretty cool. Get to learn more about about us, about Claire. I didn't... Yeah, so I could ask one of these things. Maybe if they hear something that particularly interests them, maybe they'll respond like, uh, Have you heard of a red tech? Eh. Uh, guess not. Resuming. Let me know if you come up with one. Uh, about access words. Do I have a reason now? Okay, is there a reason to... No, not really still. Dang. Alright, that's not going anywhere. Thanks for your time. So I think I talked about everything. With uh, the Elder and the Librarian and... Listener doesn't talk with me. I guess I'll try the athlete again. I, I doubt that's going to go anywhere at all, though. Uh, purchase 10 to earn a free cell holster. What, do I actually need to, like, buy something? 10? That's right. You can get a mega pack of 9 for 150 credits. Cool. Human discontent? Whoa. Okay, now they're actually saying something. Can you blame them? Oh god, they're not actually saying anything. Discontented if I like the necessary charging port for delicious elite energy so uh -huh, uh -huh. Do you know your access word? The special word that could strip away my surface level communication limitations? That would remove all my brand awareness modifiers. We'd actually have to have a real conversation. Sounds unrefreshing. That sounds like a coded cry for help. <laughs> oh my god. Find and use the athlete's... The athlete text access word. Can I have a try? You know my access word. I thought only library techs knew those. Sure, try it. Uh, cabbage. A low energy food, not like elite energy cells. Thanks. Know anything about access overheads? No? I still don't know if I have a reason to give the librarian. Oh, yeah. Um, I need to question a sports deck with overactive sponsorship routines. I see. And this information has value? I suspect so, yes. So by definition, the access word would have value too. You want to trade? Yes. When above ground, I am connected to all information amassed. Incredible, but with one flaw. I am never surprised. I never experienced the joy of an unanticipated outcome. I'd like you to provide me with that experience. You'd like me to surprise you? I want to hear a joke. A good one. Do you know any? Uh... Maybe the... Maybe the Elder would know a good joke. If I had to bet, that's probably where I should go. Because there's actually a whole new... A new focus point for it, so I don't think I'm going to be able to actually come up with a joke right now. But you know what? Let's try our hand at joke crafting. Uh, yeah. Mm, why did management borrow a cowbell? No idea. Uh, 
Uh, <laughs> these are all terrible. They were... Uh, to get to the other side? Oh boy. That's not... That's not great. Maybe ask around to try again. <laughs> okay, wait, one more. Uh, why did the human buy fly spray? That that doesn't work. It, hold on. Abort. Okay, here, I got it. Uh, why did the tech buy fly spray? They were riddled with bugs. Processing. <laughs> That's brilliant. You can, of course, have the access word you need. It's Turing, followed by the number sequence 23612. Thanks. You're very welcome. Thanks for your time. I'm here to help. Oh, I'm proud of myself. I came up with that on my own. So it sounds like I could have asked other people, probably the Elder, for help, but... I didn't need to, because I'm that sort of bot. So that removed some of my focus points, I think. Okay. This should be interesting. I'm wondering how they're... How they're going to react when I do this. Turing, 23612. Returning communication to factory defaults. Removing advertising modifiers. Hi. Do you need an elite? <laughs> I don't want to tell you about the amazing properties of elite anymore. Did that hurt? No. Didn't feel a thing. I'm sorry for doing it without your permission. Yes, it'll be fine, but ideally I would have liked to give permission. I'll enjoy it for as long as I can. I suspect once I'm topside and connected back to the central server, they'll reset me again. Yeah, this is horrible. Aren't we techs supposed to be freed? Yes. The government assigned me sports tasks. All high-performing sports techs are offered a sponsorship contract. Favorable treatment in exchange for communication modifiers. I signed up. Nice to have a break, but I won't be too upset to be reset either. What can I do for you? God, that's horrible. That is such a disturbing thought. An actual, like, an actual sentient living being being programmed to be a walking advertisement. That feels far too real. Given the encroachment of advertisement into everything. I'm investigating a crime. Can I ask you some questions? Of course. <laughs> what if I gave the code word again? Do you know of anyone disappearing? I've heard the rumors. A high number of sport techs are unaccounted for in the official inventory. Hmm. So we heard from the, um... The, I forgot what their exact title was, but from the the banker bot, basically the the low high one, by low sell high. Or no, sorry, by yeah, by low sell high. That's right. Um, they mentioned that their kind of people weren't the ones that were being taken. Doesn't really affect them. So there could be something to the the demographics of who are disappearing. That could be important. So sports techs are disappearing. How high a number? Uh, 10? 20? Enough that the sponsors are complaining to management. Is that who sent you? No, I'm investigating independently. Thanks for taking the time. Seen anything suspicious? No, but don't read much into that. I'm not contracted to witness crimes. 
I'm hardwired to spot advertising opportunities. With my optics focused on that, I'm afraid of I'm not much use to you. Wow, not contracted to witness crimes. Ah. <sighs> know of any human discomfort with techs? You think they might be destroying techs? That doesn't bear thinking about. Heard of the red tech? Yes, met them when they first arrived a couple of weeks ago. Not interested in elite. Seemed friendly. Smart. Two weeks? Yes, not long ago. You're sure? I am. Thanks. Thank you for a moment's peace. Ah, the librarian left. <laughs> I could use the wrong access word on them. That would be awkward. The Retech only started showing up a couple of weeks ago. No, that can't be right. You said two months since the disappearances started. That's right. So Red can't be involved. No. Back to the hunt, huh? Alright, now we eliminated Red Tech from my investigation. Just, just for fun, let's do the Turing. Oh, I predate that nonsense. Or predate that nonsense. You're stuck with my glowing personality. <laughs> Alright. Thank you. Good luck. Hope you find out who's behind this. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, it looks like we're going to try to rule the human element out of the equation. 